Exactly one week after a controversial housing project for the homeless drew impassioned opposition from every African-American member of Houston City Council, the $44 million deal gained approval. Two major questions loom here. Why did a majority of council members agree to do business with NHP, a management company with both a reputation and a local record of operating as a slumlord? Also, how can anyone with a straight face calculate $330,000 per efficiency apartment unit as a reasonable deal for taxpayers. Mayor Sylvester Turner argued that the city had to approve the project or risk losing $18 million in matching funds from the Texas General Land Office. Panel, apparently he was persuasive enough to get the votes needed. Holly, did you look at this deal? Uh, just a little bit. You know, this is disturbing. We talked a little bit of, ago about holding people accountable. It doesn't seem like it's holding people accountable. And this is another example of, you know, programs that are well intended, meant to help people who are obviously struggling. But then, it, you know, it gets bogged down with all these intermediaries, friends of the uh, uh, whoever's in power, get these contracts. And, uh, you know, where's the accountability for the way these people have been living in this in this previous uh, housing development? Uh, I listened to some of these council members talk about the conditions there. It's just absolutely horrific. Chow, I know you've had to work with the with the homeless community, and the, the idea here seems to be, well, we got to get something going, even if these guys have a sketchy record. Yeah, it's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. Unfortunately, that is the reality in our community. And with accountability comes transparency. And so what we've seen this past week is transparency among the city council members. And in fact, you know, effective dialogue, engagement and saying, look, we're very concerned. So moving forward, you know, if this company and this nonprofit has problems, but we've got to rob Peter to pay Paul because we've got to take the money. We've got to house homeless people because homelessness is, a, is an issue in, in our community and so many then let's just make sure there's transparency and oversight for these communities so that what we've been seeing slumlords in bad conditions won't happen. But there is an imperative uh, uh, directive right now to make sure that, that those who are vulnerable in our populations, particularly people of color, need housing. Marcus, quick take from you on this, about 20 seconds. Uh, I have two questions. One, uh, if this atrociousness was occurring before, why is it only coming to light today where was the outrage while these people were living in the middle of what they were living in i mean it's great that you stand up now but what was going on before secondly the, the only thing that matters at the end of the day is how did the vote roll out right you can have council members who can talk 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 and say 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 but at the end of the day where did the vote end That's up right. 